everyone in previous video we have seen the basic structure and characteristics of fctcr now in this video we will understand how fundamental current is controlled in order to achieve the desired function of fctcr the control of tcr in fctcr need to provide four basic functions first synchronous timing then reactive current to firing angle conversion third function is computation of required fundamental current ifl and thyristor pulse uh, firing pulse generation now here we can see in this diagram this is our fctcr this ic is a fixed current wherein this il of alpha is varied by controlling the firing pulse so required reactive power of the system is provided by controlling the reactive power of this tcr unit so how this is done firing pulse generator is giving us the firing pulse required now how do we find out that we have a current to delay angle converter that converts the required current into a delay angle so it gives us what should be the delay angle for this much required current now how do we get this current this current we get from this controller it tells us about what is the capacitive current what is the required reactive reference current so this current minus this current gives us the fundamental current required for the tcr operation that gives us the alpha requirement and this gives us this is given by firing pulse generator to the tcr along with this we need a synchronous timing circuit which gives us the exact instant of voltage peak we will see these four functional box in detail one by one synchronous timing this is usually provided by a phase lock loop we call it pll circuit that runs in synchronism with ac system voltage and generates appropriate timing pulses with respect to the peak of that voltage in a different approach the ac voltage itself may be used for timing but it presents the difficult problems during system faults and major disturbances when the voltage exhibits wild fluctuations and large distortions hence we need a pll block to give us the exact instant at which the voltage peak is achieved next is reactive current to firing angle conversion this is provided by real time circuit implementation of mathematical relationship between amplitude of the fundamental tcr current that is ilf of alpha and the delay angle we have already studied this mathematical relationship in while studying the tcr that is fundamental current equation which is an alpha dependent quantity there are three approaches to achieve or to get this relationship the first one is an analog function generator produced producing in each half cycle a scaled electrical signal that represents the ilf of alpha versus alpha relationship we are going to use this in this particular expression there are two other ways also second way is a lookup table for normalized ilf of alpha versus alpha function which is read at regular intervals that is starting from alpha is equal to 0 until the requested value is found at which instant alpha firing pulse is initiated third approach is to use a microprocessor and computer prior to the earliest firing angle the delay angle corresponding to the required ilf of alpha the actual firing instant is then determined simply by a timing circuit measuring from a peak of the voltage 
so here we just need to find out the relationship between ilf of alpha and alpha and find the exact instant at which the gate pulse should be applied in order to get the required fundamental reactor current then operating vi characteristics of tcr the third function is the computation of a required fundamental reactor current from the requested total output current iq defined by the amplitude reference input iq ref to the var generator control this is simply done by subtracting the amplitude of the capacitor current ic from iq reference positive polarity of iq reference means inductive output current and negative polarity means capacitive output current the last one is thyristor firing pulse generation this is accomplished by a firing pulse generator or a gate drive circuit which produces the necessary gate current pulse for the thyristor to turn on in response to the output signal provided by the reactive current to firing angle con converter so now we will see the wave here the first waveform shows the voltage ac voltage and peak of the voltage is found out by the pll block so this pll block it gives us the instant at which the voltage is at, is at its peak so the for the positive half cycle this is the instant at which the voltage is reached at its peak value this is for negative half cycle so every half cycle this pll loop, uh, block gives us the instant at which peak of the voltage is achieved now we have set the equation or the relation between ilf and alpha so this is the equation for fundamental current of tcr we can see this is the fundamental current now in the first half cycle i the magnitude of the reference current required ilf required is this so at this instant my alpha should be triggered so alpha 1 is plotted at the instant where this required current is matching with the fundamental current now here we can see in the second half cycle the instant th this is the required ifl and these are my characteristics ifl plot so the value which i got at the intersection is alpha 2 so alpha 2 should be the firing instant at which the gate signal should be applied in the second cycle now in third half cycle you can see this is ifl characteristics and this is the value of fundamental current i required for the operation so this is the point of intersection and at this point i take alpha 3 so starting from the peak of the voltage up to this point i set a timer circuit and i trigger the pulse at this particular instant in order to get alpha 3 as my firing angle and hence i get this as my ilf value so by this way we can control the ilf in each half cycle and we can fulfill the required reactive power requirement of the system by using fctcr thank you